I didn't really intend for this video to be so dense, but I feel like I shouldn't leave out this information in case someone didn't want to do a Ghibli inspired oracle deck, but wanted to learn how to make one of any theme instead. And just a disclaimer, there's so many methods to do this. This way just makes the most sense to me. So let's get started. First off, what is an oracle deck? I've seen online that usually oracle decks are an overly positive, simplified version of tarot cards, and going through many commercial decks, I have found that to be somewhat true. Most oracle decks do not have many negative cards, and if they do, they have a huge positive spin on them. While tarot cards do have a good amount of negative and positive cards, and that's not even including reversals. Personally, I like more negative cards in my decks because life has a lot of ups and downs, and I want that to be shown when I'm using them. But really, whatever floats your boat. Studying tarot and esotericism, I really love the idea that the power is not in the cards, but in you. And I have more of a secular belief when it comes to any cards thinking that it's more like an inkblot test calling out to my subconscious to solve problems than anything else. But that's just me. I bought this postcard set a couple months ago and it just sat in my storage. If for some reason you can't get a hold of this postcard set, I highly recommend all these other wonderful beautiful ones I found scrolling through Amazon. And they're only $17 to $25, that's not too bad for a custom made one of a kind up to 100 cards 30 curated oracle deck made by you. So you'll roughly need these items listed here. The deck can be any size you prefer or can hold comfortably. The dimensions I used were the ones that would fit nicely into the two containers I already had. Typically, oracle cards are a lot bigger than tarot cards. But if you still don't know what to decide on, these are the basic card dimensions if you want something familiar or universal. So I cut out a stencil and placed that over the area I wanted to become a card. With my permanent marker, I placed dots on the corners of where I was going to cut. This cutting board is really nice because it has a wire in the center that is a guide. All the materials I used are in the description if you're interested. And don't be too scared of it being completely perfect. I think some cards being slightly larger than others really adds to the charm. After all of them are cut, I then rounded the corners with the large setting on my Sunstar Katomaru Pro Corner Cutter. Now for the most important part, what I'm going to write. For me, I wanted to keep with the Ghibli theme, so each card's meaning was a rough reference to what was happening in the movie that is shown in the postcard. But you can write whatever you want, it's a personal deck just for you. Tell your life story and the issues that are unique to you for future guidance you might need when you are meditating or looking for another perspective. So if you don't want to use plot points in Ghibli, here's a quick method for creating your own theme deck. The first question to ask yourself is, what is the theme? Then, how many cards do you want the deck to have? And lastly, separating the themes into subcategories for a more cohesive deck. My example would be, reaching my goals and believing in myself. Decks can be any card amount, usually they're in the 40 to 50 range, so I will have mine at 40 cards. I want to separate mine loosely into four subcategories. Planning and strategy. Upbeat messages to just do it overcoming hurdles, and wild cards. And here are the words I decided to use. You don't have to have little paragraphs and explanations on each card if you don't want to. And if you get stuck, look at other oracle decks for ideas. And here are some examples of extra writing if you don't want just keywords. Acceptance. I accept that some ideas or projects won't be what I had envisioned, but that's okay. And every project is a growing experience. Finished Not Perfect by Jake Parker. Impatience. Quality work takes time. Don't beat yourself up. Slow and steady. It will all come together in the end. 
If you decide to do more than just keywords, I recommend you keep it short, sweet, and not too precise because then it might become confusing when you're looking for guidance later on. That's why I think general keywords are perfect. And lastly, if you have separate containers for your new cards, decorate them. For the larger deck, I used some postcard scraps to make a background and I painted the Ghibli logo on the front. And for the smaller one, I painted some soot sprites and compito. I also really recommend using a fountain pen like I did. It creates a beautiful watercolor like effect known as shading on this cardstock. If you've never used Oracle decks before, don't be nervous. All you have to do is shuffle a couple times, concentrate, and then pick the cards that are calling to you. I recommend just picking one to three since it could be confusing getting too many messages. But again, do whatever feels right for you. There's no wrong way. I hope this helped and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment.